Welcome back. We're hanging out with Ben of Developing Lafayette. Welcome back. Yeah, good. Thank you for having me. Of course. So we got a bunch to roll through today. Yeah. The first one is pretty cool. It's a new bakery that's popping up. Yeah. So that is called Straw Cove Baking Company. Uh, it's a wholesale bread bakery and flour mill located okay. at 111 Monroe Street, kind of on the corner. I think it's, I don't know if it's Simcoe or Cameron. Yeah. I think it's Cameron. But uh, so they're going to produce artisan handcraft sourdough breads and much more, uh, all made from fresh stone ground flours milled on site. Oh, it's wow. not a public accessible place, but they will be doing like oh, obviously wholesale. Yeah. Um, the building is an historic building, formerly a Pabst Blue, I guess Pabst Beer distributorship. Oh, uh, that's cool. It was constructed in 1940s, renovated in 1984, and refurbished in 2018. The owners are Northside and Brobridge natives, and they went to work in New Orleans and came back to La Lafayette area to share their crafts. I love that, and that's such a cool little business yeah. to pop up. We love bread. Yeah. I love and bread. And they opened up in least. September. In September. Oh, because yep. that's right around the corner. Yep. Oh my gosh. Okay. We got to get to some big news because you kind of broke the internet yesterday with I some guess of this stuff. Bit. So let's start off with Bro Bridge. Yep. So Bro Bridge, uh, somebody had messaged me that a Whataburger coming soon sign was put on a piece of property, cut yeah. a corner of Walmart. So I went out there, sure enough, got pictures and everything and posted that. That went pr yeah. did pretty good in Bro Bridge. And then shortly after, I contacted the franchisee of Whataburger. He told me that not only is Opelousas getting a Whataburger, which I did not post, by the way, yet. So you're learning that here first. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, also Youngsville, out of all places, is getting a new Whataburger. Oh my gosh. And it's, but it, it's going to be a unique one because it's mm -hmm. going to be shared in a shopping center. So it's a shopping center development with uh, Whataburger anchoring on one corner. Yeah. And it's going to be located at the corner of Milton Avenue and Bonin Drive in a 14,000 square foot center. Wow. And that mean. You literally broke the internet with Whataburger. Yeah, and I don't have to explain what Whataburger is. No, everybody knows what Whataburger <laughs> is. You see the bright orange, you know yeah, you're yeah. going to get Texas a good Yeah, Texas-based company, really good stuff. And then we got the Iron House Gym. Yes. Which they were working out of another gym, sharing space, and so they finally were able to expand into their own space. It's 14,000 square foot mm -hmm. space. Uh, it's larger, much more uh, gym equipment. They have a wider variety of cardio and strength training. They do like specializing in powerlifting. Yeah. And so they got padded and turf floors. They got industrial air moving fans. So it's a oh, really wow. cool space. This looks like a really big space too. It is. It's a very big space. They got showers, uh, all new facility uh, as far as internal goes. The building is an older building that they renovated, like a warehouse. Yeah. Um, they cater to all levels, ages, backgrounds. They, uh, they offer open gym membership, small group training, hit classes, specialized programming tailored for powerlifting and strongman competitors. Nice. And when are they going to be? Are they open right now? They, they opened -open? yesterday. They opened yesterday. Yes. Awesome. That is so cool. I mean, this facility just looks absolutely incredible. I love it. It is. The and the owners grass. are great local owners, uh, very, very fit owners. Let me just yeah. tell you that. <laughs> uh, I go there and I felt uh, very, very. <laughs> underwhelmed with my own personal look <laughs> compared to theirs, but uh, yeah, great people. It's okay. I love that. I love all the businesses that are popping up in the area. Ben, if people at home want to keep up with you and what's developing in Lafayette, how can they? Sure. If you want to keep up with all the, the hot talk, Developing Lafayette on Facebook, Instagram, and if you want to just go to the, the website and get all your juicy stuff there, developinglafayette.com. Thanks for joining us to share all this with our Thank viewers. You. If you at home want to learn more, we're going to post direct links to all of his stuff on our website, klaf.com. But let's take a look outside with Adam Olivier.